ओके सो वी वुड बी टॉकिंग एंड कंटिन्यू अवर लेक्चर ऑन जनरल फार्माकोलॉजी प्रिंसिपल्स वी ऑलरेडी हैव कवर्ड टू लेक्चर्स दैट मेनली डिस्क्राइब सम ऑफ द डेफिनेशन रिलेटेड टू प्रिंसिपल्स एंड डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजी एंड देन आफ्टर वी कवर्ड फ्यू ऑफ द अदर टॉपिक्स दैट इज रिलेटेड टू जनरल फार्माकोलॉजी प्रिंसिपल दिस इज थर्ड पार्ट of general pharmacology principles uh hope till now uh, things you are going through are understandable if you are having any query you can always comment in comment box and i will try and solve all your queries welcome to my uh, youtube channel that is pharmacology lectures let's start with it <coughs> so now today uh, we are going to talk about an important topic that is been asked in pharmacology uh, examinations both through theory and as well as viva that what is essential medicine concept or what are essential medicines now as per word suggest it's essential it's they are very useful medicines as you can guess but what it exactly is these are the medicines which primarily satisfy the needs of majority of the populations so it satisfies the priority healthcare needs of the your populations so these are the medicines which are mainly used for majorly prevalent conditions right now how to select those medicines the thing is uh, whether you are on national side or whether you are on state side or whether you are a particular district side or if you are at hospital side you need to prepare a list of some essential medicines that this 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 medicines are essential they are been chosen on different criterias so how to select them so first depending upon public health care relevance that is the first thing which are the conditions which are prevalent for an example if you are in india or different parts of india depending their conditions depending upon the disease prevalence of the disease you need to select the drugs of that particular disease and make a list of medicine that this kind of medicines should be there that is been majorly used second on the basis of evidence of efficacy and safety data how effective this drug in comparison to others if now if you are having five drug for particular condition choose a drug choose one or two drugs maximum or depending upon effectiveness data and safety data that these two drugs are highly efficacious and more safer so depending upon this criteria you can choose drugs you can also compare the cost now if as for an example if you are having five antimicrobials you can choose those antimicrobials depending upon this criteria where cost is a major thing in india cost is always a major thing in or a decisive factor if you are a general practitioner as well patient will come to you if you having a low cost medicines with high efficacy and safety so patient seeks all those three things so always keep cost in mind and effectiveness how effective that medicines is so these are basic criteria of choosing essential medicines another few important points about essential medicines are this medicine should be available within the context of functional healthcare system so if you are making a essential medicine list for that particular hospital that medicine should be available at hospital at all the times in adequate amounts depending upon rush of patients or number of footfall in appropriate dosage formulations because you need different formulations for paracetamol you need for pediatric patient syrups for infants you need drops you for 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 adults you need tablets for uh, you know unconscious patients or sometimes parental administrative forms like injectable forms or suppository forms so you should be having different formulation of that particular drug available depending upon the conditions with a sure quality and adequate informations and at price the individual and community can afford so you need to choose those drugs which are comparatively cost effective should be available at all the times amount dosage form and uh, all these things should be considered while choosing those essential medicines <clears throat> there are few other factors you need to keep in mind that you also need to know about the pharmacokinetic properties like how easily or how quickly this drug will produce actions how, for how much duration it's having its action is there any chances of interactions there how it gets distributed so how, what is its half life all these things we will talk 
talk de- in detail in pharmacokinetic but right now you can remember like pharmacokinetic profile of that particular drug is important you should also consider local facilities for manufacturing and storage are you having enough specialist storage facilities been there manufacture and will be taken care by other agencies next point is is it a single or a fixed dose combinations because many drugs are available in fixed dose combinations means more than one drug in single formulations for an example paracetamol and ibuprofen so there are two drugs in single formulation so you need to consider we need a single drug or we need combination of drug choosing that uh, essential medicines and updating those essential medicine list it's a continuous process okay because thing gets changed depending upon the conditions and timely situation some other uh, conditions comes in okay because some some information about some adverse drug reaction about that particular drug comes in and you need to delete that drug so updating that essential medicine list is very much of important so it's always a continuous process and choosing that particular drug right drug for right patient it is called as rationality so based on rationality you develop treatment guidelines then in which conditions these drugs are useful uh so on that basis who had uh, created an essential medicine drug list in 1977 so those concepts started earlier in 1977 first who essential medicine drug list was produced then different countries adopted those concepts and india produced its national essential drug list in 1996 and then it was frequently revised and lastly national list of essential medicine has been produced 2011 then it's also been updated and number of medicines are 348 so it's a continuous process it gets updated gets published even in google if you will search national uh, essential medicine list of india you'll get this information next important point is prescription and non prescription drug this is also a simple thing you should be aware about those things prescription drugs are called as scheduled h drug means these are only available by prescription of registered medical professional these kind of medicines cannot be available on your demand from pharmacist you need a written uh, prescription to get those medicines simple so these are called as schedule h medicines or prescription drugs <clears throat> then what is non prescription or over the counter drugs these are the medicines for which no prescription is needed you just go there at the pharmacy store and ask for this medicines and you will get that medicines so can be sold even by grocery stores and that includes analgesics like painkillers like paracetamol aspirin antacids we are using to decrease the acid content or acidity laxative for constipation vitamins and iron salts so these are the medications which are over the counter medications or otc medications uh, and some medications you need prescription for it to get them it is scheduled h drug so all two things should be uh, you should be knowing about them right one more concept about uh drugs is orphan drugs as the name suggests it's orphan means it is for these are the medicines for orphan diseases or rare diseases okay so simple first you understood what are orphan drugs orphan drugs are medicines which are used for rare diseases so these are the drugs or biological products for diagnosis treatment prevention of a rare disease or conditions why this is important because uh diseases are rare you know so now you think from the perspective of pharmaceutical company which basically manufactures it what is important for pharmaceutical company is the development cost of making that medicines is too high and on the other side the sell is bit low why because these conditions are rare so only few patients would be there who would be requiring those medicines so the thing is development cost is high so the cost is extremely high and the sell is low so there is loss to the pharmaceutical company so pharmaceutical companies are not getting involved in making this kind of medicines <coughs> that is why the 
uh, no reasonable expectation that the cost of developing and marketing will be recovered from the sale of this drugs so it is very difficult to obtain these drugs commercially so to encourage companies because you know there are some conditions for which patients require those drugs so government in developed countries especially in developed countries offers tax benefits and many other incentives to those pharmaceutical companies for developing those orphan drugs so to encourage the pharmaceutical company for the development of those rare condition medicines they have provided few of the incentives and tax benefit for development so they can decrease their loss and also gain some profits so these drugs are called as orphan drugs which are they there are some of the examples you can remember sodium nitrite fomepizol all these drugs we'll see in detail in different lectures fomepizol we are using uh, benzodiazepine antagonists liposomal amphotericin b in fungal diseases Miltefos is in Kalazar, Rifabutin in tuberculosis, Succima, so, uh, Somatropin, Digoxin antibody for Digoxin poisoning and Leothyronine. So there are many examples you can remember few as far as exam point of view. Last concept is designer drugs. Have you seen this series Breaking Bad? Right. So if uh, whoever people have watched this series they would be knowing that this series is all about uh, illegal drugs and how a chemist who's having a knowledge about drugs making making few changes in that particular drug and making a more effective drug so that uh, effects can more effects can be produced and same time it's very difficult to uh, get obtained from your blood so it's it's a series it's a very good series uh, he was a chemist and he made those kind of medicines which were uh, difficult to detect from patient's blood and they are very effective and eventually those medicines goes for misuse or abuse potential medicines and that is one example is methamphetamine they call it meth in a whole series so synthetic analog of legally restricted or prohibited drugs so drugs which are restricted or prohibited they are making synthetic analog of them so they it makes the pharmacological action of a drug and avoids its detection and it has been created by changing the property of that drug example is methamphetamine and nmda so these are drugs which has been misused basically this has been used in many of the rave parties so these are drugs of abuse potentials so these are the drugs which has been made by different mafias by making some changes in the in the properties of drugs and make them more pharmacological effective and difficult to detect in your blood so examples are methamphetamine and nmda so that's it for this uh, today's session i hope you understood all the uh, topics if you are having any difficulty kindly comment in comment box and i will try and solve your queries thank you